Hello everyone, Crydax here, and welcome back to our Factorio Space Age playthrough. We have been playing a little bit since the last episode, mainly just getting prepped on the, uh, uh, what do we call this, space station, uh, for stuff we'll need on Vulcanus, such as the cargo landing pad, which we forgot. I am gonna try, we made some uranium cannon shells, and we're gonna try utilizing these, because look down at the bottom of that tooltip. 10,400 damage from each shot. I mean, the amount of damage is absurd on that. So I think we can kill a worm with a tank and some uranium cannon shells, and that's what I'm gonna try. Will it work? Uh, time will tell. And we're getting everything else loaded on here. It's almost done, so I figured we should start the episode. I've done a few things on Nauvis. We're just sitting here alone, us and the worm on Vulcanus. But on Navis, um, I went ahead and changed to have some electromagnetic plants just because this was a really easy spot to add them and we get so much more productivity. Uh, so that kind of felt like a no-brainer and these don't even run full-time on the 22.5 green chips that we can be fed. And I also added a couple more over here because that was another easy spot. I didn't want to rebuild this because that's kind of a mess and same thing here. We'd have to shift everything around to put them in here. But at least for some simple spots, we switched over to the electromagnetic plants and we also finished the research on processing unit productivity, which is a free 10% that gets added on top. So you can see that we have 180% because these add up to 20%. So there's the base 50%, plus 20 from the modules, plus another 10. Uh, and apparently we forgot the modules in this one. What's that? And here's the uranium cannon shells. Should be getting requested into the rocket anytime soon. But by my, by my math, the worm... Well, it's only got 30,000 health. And 2,400 a second recovery. Let's say I take 10 seconds to kill it. That's still only a total of 54,000 with 50% physical reduction. So that's still only 11 cannon shells. And that's me guesstimating at only 5,000 damage a shot, which it should be more than that. So I really, I think that's gonna work. It'll be funny if I'm wrong. <laughs> uh, it'll be very funny if I'm wrong, but I think it's gonna work. So we just need a few more rocket launches here, and we should be good to send the Hendrix in with an actual starter base worth of stuff. Now let's see if there's anything else we can think of, because we've got belts, we've got inserters, we've got all the basics there. I'm not doing stuff for trains right now. We've got... Um, the chests for robots, as well as the stuff for robots. We've got some lamps. I don't... I think I'm gonna worry about, well, would it, I guess it could be nice to send combinators, um, but I have circuits. Yeah, we have circuits and iron, so we can make our own combinators when we get there. Uh, we've got some rocket fuel for the tanks. I'm bringing some batteries just in case. Got the cargo landing pad. I don't need cargo bays, and we've got radars as well as uranium cannon shells. I don't I don't think we need anything else, so we're just about there. Just about there. Uh, Joshua, you're saying you're kind of disappointed in quality trains. You thought they might get acceleration or top speed, but it's just health. Yeah, uh, I'm kind of with you on that. It doesn't feel... It doesn't feel right that trains got dropped on the quality quality train. I understand them not wanting to give storage size though. Like that is kind of powerful. I think what they could have done is slightly reduced the weight of cargo wagons so that that helps the train's acceleration a little bit. And then with the locomotives, giving it slightly more acceleration power and max speed. I, yeah, I think that would have been nice. I'm guessing they made an intentional decision not to do that, and I'm curious what it was. 
or what why it was i should say not what we know what the decision was <laughs> we don't know why why they did it um i think that's it right once the the last thing gets here yeah we're good to go so we've got everything we want um now we just head back over to vulcanus and we did have full storage tanks for fuel. We really need to upgrade the platform with more processing. So I should probably like give myself an extra five or so tiles, an extra couple tiles of width and make it so that we're using uh, more crushers and blue belts here for processing. The other thing we don't have but can get soon is that research. We were just looking at that. Where is that? The asteroid reprocessing? That'll be after Vulcanus, but then we'll be able to turn some of our extra carbonic and metallic chunks into oxide chunks, which then means we're gonna have way more water. So that setup is gonna be pretty important. But for now, we'll just go with our tried and true method, which has seemed to work just fine. Hundred and thirteen kilometers a second. Solar panel power is just skyrocketing. I wish there was something you could do with all that extra power you get in the space around Vulcanus. Oh, Joshua, I'm guessing the asteroid reprocessing doesn't allow for prod. Um, couldn't tell you for sure, but I would guess that it wouldn't just let you go infinite. They're pretty good about not putting infinite loops in their game, Wooba. So I'm guessing that's not a thing. Yeah, we are almost there. And yeah, ammo seemed just fine. Though I don't like that this one wasn't crafting. I still, I'm trying to, is there a way for me to like, Prioritize this. I guess I can do that, and then I can extend this underground to there, and then that allows me to do this. But then this one isn't side loading. This is like the weirdest puzzle I've ever tried to solve. Um, uh, can we solve it? I don't know if it's solvable. Yeah, I actually, I have no idea. I guess we could input priority right here, but then that one's not prioritized anymore. I don't know if that actually works or not. Oh well. Good night, SMO. Sleep well. All right, let's send down Red Rover, Red Rover. Send the orbital cargo landing pad right over. And it'll land somewhere around here. There it is. Whee! Nice. All right, so where shall our base begin? Calcite, coal, tungsten. Uh, I don't actually know. So maybe we should send down some solar radar and substation. Accumulator. 
We'll send all that stuff so we can actually explore a bit without threatening the worms. I'm so curious to know what the solar ratio is. It's got to be basically nothing. Like, like one accumulator to 50 panels or something ridiculous. Because the panels are quadruple what they normally are. So that already is quadruple the ratio, you know, one fourth as many accumulators. But then on top of that, the day night length is only one and a half minutes, which is ridiculous. So, yeah, I'm not sure what it is, but it's, gosh, this is probably good. Um, so I'll put one there. What triggers the worms? It's building in their territory. So I'm trying to be a little careful. Oh, I don't have any bots on me. a little more compact. But yeah, I think if you build in their territory, they get a little grumpy about it. We're gonna try to not do that. And we'll get these radars exploring for us. Oh, cliff explosives are going to be so nice. I'm so ready to not deal with cliffs anymore. The Fulgora cliffs were actually quite annoying, um, especially because they don't give you that much area to build with on those little islands. So I really wish I would have brought atomic bombs because those are ways to destroy cliffs without cliff explosives. I didn't actually know that before I had gone, but I, I certainly would have brought some atomic bombs if I had known that. Because the research, oh, it is expensive. It is 5,000 packs. Oh, you can't take them. Never mind. You could take the re resources to make them, but they're insanely ex I didn't realize how expensive these were. A hundred? U-235 for a single bomb? That's insane. I didn't realize atomic bombs were that uranium intensive. Um, and no, you can't ship them from space. They're too heavy for a rocket. So you would have to ship the 235 separately as well as the other stuff. And the 235 only stacked to 20 in a rocket plus the other stuff, you're probably looking at six or seven rocket loads of resources just for one bomb. However, that being said, if you're really, if your goal is to over prepare, I would actually suggest that you take like two or three atomic bombs with you when you go to Fulgora or Vulcanus, just to get rid of like cliffs that are in the worst position. But yeah, that, that's a pretty expensive single bomb to take. <laughs> the trip down does not have weight attached. With Covarex, I actually wonder, would it be better to ship the ore itself? With productivity, it's actually cheaper if you're using productivity modules, it's cheaper to ship uranium ore, right? No, because Covrex, you still need three. Yeah, three, two, three, eight turns into one, two, three, five. So you're better off just packing the two, three, five in still. Yeah. All right, have we discovered anything fancy nearby? Like I'm thinking another giant tungsten ore deposit, maybe? Not really.
All right, well, let's just put the landing pad kind of in the middle of things here. We can always move it if we really need to, but I just want to start collecting all my garbage. And all my junk. So send down the bots, the chest, the roboports, repair packs, lamps, more things, drills, that, recycler, these things. Yeah, it's gonna take a minute. Um, I actually could send down some more cargo bays to make this faster. And then some rocket fuel, a little bit of all the resources, modules and beacons. Nothing. Beacons. Rod modules. All right. <laughs> Here come all the little ships. So cool. Is there a limit on how many landing pads? Uh, one. Yes. The limit is one. So that's why I was kind of trying to explore a little bit before we placed it, because. Once you've placed it, you can't move it. You can deconstruct it and put it somewhere else, but if you design your base around it, obviously, it's hard to move it later. So, putting some amount of thought into it makes, makes some sense. Um, I don't think I need anything else for now. I might as well grab the rest of the modules. Okay. And I have more than enough inventory to just hold all of this. So, we have a tank. We have rocket fuel for this tank. And we have some extremely high damage cannon shells. So with any luck, we can murder a worm. We have coal, we have calcite, we have sulfuric acid, so the only thing we don't have is tungsten. It's a very small tungsten patch, 153,000. I'm hoping we find more soon. Um, now these cliffs might be so bad we can't even find a route through. But I'm gonna go ahead and save it in case of absolute save scum emergency. I'm also curious, do worms just get mad if you walk into their territory or do you have to build in their territory? Let's find out. I think I can outrun a worm if I have to. Where is the worm? Ah, oh, he's over here. Hi, wormy. Ha! <laughs> you can literally jump over the worm. Ouch. Wait, why is that not jumping over the worm? Weird. It worked before. Okay, he doesn't seem to care too much. But I assume he will care a little bit more when we have high-density uranium slugs going into his face. Oh, yeah. There's a high chance of death. We need our escape route planned out. It'll be probably this way. All right. Hi, Wormy. Are you ready? Oh, that was a. Uh... That was pretty easy. <laughs> I think we found the the easy way to kill a demolisher. 
Wow. Yeah, we just completely wrecked that thing. What is this? What does it drop? Ooh, it dropped tungsten ore. How fun. Oh, the smoke cloud is disabling my grid. That's what was happening. Thank you. I knew something weird was going on. All right, well, there's some tungsten. And we now have our own land. I am worried that we haven't found another tungsten deposit. Um, given, what are they doing? Any guesses on what those bots are doing? That was weird. Uh, yeah, this is not a very big tungsten deposit, so I'm worried about there not being more. So what we'll do is we'll run to the corner of this little land and put more radars. Yeah, they were like trying to... So was the smoke damaging them? Is that how smoke works? Does it damage bots too? Something like that. Hopefully we uncover more tungsten, more calcite. Have I seen a second coal patch either? Not really. I mean, 730,000 is not a small amount, but it certainly won't last forever. It's not like end game amounts. Hmm. We shall see. Okay, so apparently tungsten carbide, that was all we needed. And we're going to need to make carbon, which is coal and sulfuric. In a chemical plant or a cryogenic plant. That's interesting. Uh, and then tungsten carbide, we need tungsten ore, more sulfuric acid. Okay. So, we need to grab some miners. Can't... One thing I don't love about the map is it's really hard to see the, the player dot in the... Like, the map is very visually noisy. Oh! Electric mining drill cannot mine this resource. I see. So, ha what if you didn't kill a worm? Do you have to kill a worm for your first tungsten? Is that what this means? Or do these have tungsten in them? Ah, these rocks have tungsten in them. Okay, never mind. So you don't you don't have to kill a worm. I feel like that's like the title of like a Netflix documentary, To Kill a Worm. <laughs> it might be the title of this uh, episode, actually. I should write that down. <laughs> To kill a worm. Uh, nice. All right. In my case, I think I found one of the easier ways to kill a worm, to be honest. So I need coal, sulfuric, calcite. Those are all, this seems like a good central location. I am a bit concerned about the number of pipes I brought not being enough. So that should be interesting. Alright, uh, one second. I will be right back. Okay. What were we doing? Ah, yes. Mining coal. 
Classic Factorio, except it's not for burner drills. This is so weird. It's so weird to be like setting up coal mining. I don't know. Like when you're late game and have mech armor. Something just feels, something just feels odd about that. Uh, those are some big biters. Let's do a few more laser turrets here. Um, okay, so let's throw down. Power is pretty easy on Vulcanus, so I think we can just throw down some solar panels. And just a few accumulators. We're not going to need very many at all. Okay. So we've got our coal patch. Mining. And that can bring... Pull over and down. For now, we'll go closer to the sulfuric acid. Because I don't have that many pipes to play with. Um, all right, so how do we make all this stuff? So we need coal and sulfuric acid in, what was it, a chemical plant? Yeah, coal and sulfuric acid in a chem plant. Okay, so we'll get all that going. I don't know, how much do these mine? 28, or no, 25, 27, 25, 22. That's like 100 sulfuric acid a second. So that's basically infinite. Um, I think. Well, these do use 20 a second. Okay, never mind. This uses a lot of sulfuric. That being said, we can easily get that amount. All right, so here's carbon. Do some more carbon. And then probably should place the rest of my solar panels. Whoa. What, what was that? Did that light on fire when they deconstructed a tree? What was that? That was cool. Is it one of these trees? Do they explode when you deconstruct them? Oh yeah, that's cool. That's neat. That's super neat. Okay, so we've got carbon. And then with that carbon, we, what do we do? We take that and we put it in Tungsten carbide in an assembler. And I'm gonna make this so it's nicely expandable. I love room for beacons here. Because we're certainly gonna need to make more of this at some point. Tungsten carbide. Tungsten. And there you have it. Tungsten carbide. Now, what do I do with that? No idea. That's the next step. Did that finish another research for us? Uh, it will, yes. Maybe I need to make more. Oh, we disconnected our power. 
Now the rates here, these guys uh, make one a second by default. These use 1.25. So you need slightly more Kim plants than assembling machines at the end of the day. Um, why is this not? Oh, oh, we need to mine calcite first. Oh, calcite plus sulfuric acid makes steam. Oh my, that's cheap. So there's another easy way to make power. And then you can condense steam back down to water. That's so crazy. And then coal liquefaction using... What's the normal coal liquefaction? It's like coal plus heavy oil. Anyway, this is a way to use calcite and sulfuric in coal. Make heavy oil. So, that, so you can get all the oil products easily with all that. All right, so we need to mine some calcite here. It's nice to be able to run around and not worry about cliffs in my way. I will say. Now, I'm going to complain about the same thing here that I complained about on um, Fulgora with the scrap. Is It's actually really hard to tell which individual tiles are calcite. Like, that one right there does not really look like calcite when you're zoomed out. Like, how does that look that much different than this or this? When you're zoomed out and you're just walking around, they all kind of look the same. So when you're holding a miner, having it outline the calcite in some form or fashion, I think would be nice. Because otherwise it's a little, little iffy. Now, I wish that notification came back. Because I wanted to see where on Nauvis we were getting attacked. Was it here? I don't actually know where it was. We can see a bot flying somewhere, we'll know. It's repairing something, but... I guess we'll just have to wait till it gets damaged again. You just lost a bunch of quality copper wire to an elusive bug. Oh no. The elusive bug. That is one thing that this game is lacking there's our researches, is any sort of, like, sneaky AI, right? The bugs are not sneaky at all. They just run straight at your walls. Um, it's better than it used to be. They, they have made some improvements over the years. But for the most part, the AI is kind of just non-existent, which is, eh, it could be better. Okay, so I need some lubricant, which means I need heavy oil. And how do we make, how do we, can I already collect lava? Or, or is that something we can only do later? No, wait, what am I doing? Offshore pump. It feels weird to put a building into lava, I will say. Okay, so I can collect lava, but I have to have a foundry to do anything with lava. So, can't do anything with that yet. So then to make oil, we need... Uh, let's put this down here. This guy? Coal, calcite, and sulfuric. All together. Our powers combined. We can become Captain Planet. Um, and the coal is over here. Pretty simple processing recipes so far. to a second on the coal. Okay. So there's heavy oil. Sweet! Get things lit up. Nice. If they brought out smart bugs, we'd, yeah, we'd need more 
Starship Trooper vibes for sure. Um, also, Aloy, yeah, I mean, obviously, enemies being smarter would be a performance issue, potentially. So that's certainly part of it. Now, can I make, or I guess I need to make these in an assembling machine? Or another foundry? Foundries making foundries. Just like electromagnetic plants making electromagnetic plants. Uh, refined concrete is something I did not have on my bingo card. Is that going to be impossible for me? I mean, I have a little bit of stone, but is that it? Oh, can you get, you can get stone from these rocks. Okay, so you can get just enough stone, assuming you have some way to smelt it. Uh, that's kind of annoying, but. Let's just set up the most basicest of loops here. So we'll have stone here. And then that gets fed into that, and then that gets fed into a concrete maker. Which also needs iron ore and water. Uh, and water... Where do we even make water? Chem plant? What was it? Sulfuric. Calcite and sulfuric. To make a bunch of 500 degree steam. Can we talk about that for a second? 500 degree steam. That's the steam that nuclear things make. And within seconds, it's making an absurd amount. So 20, 20 sulfuric acid a second would be 200 500 degree steam a second, which is enough to power three steam turbines, that's 15 megawatts of steam from only a single pump jack mining 20 sulfuric acid a second. So yeah, uh, all that to say, <laughs> steam power is pretty easy and solar power is pretty easy. So power on Vulcanus is not a problem. Um, not even close to a problem. Uh, and then we need to turn this into water. Like so. Alright, there's water. Just kind of spaghettiing things here. The spaghetti giveth and the spaghetti taketh. Alright, so there's that. Feed in the stone brick. You'll need to request iron ore. And then for refined concrete. Oh, we need water for that too. Why did I forget that? Uh, this on this side. Put that there. Feed in the concrete. And then we're gonna need iron sticks and steel. Now, the iron sticks, we're going to have to handcraft a few. I mean, I guess we could just also use an assembler to help, but, yeah. You know. Alright, we need how many for a foundry? 20? They're not cheap. No, oh, no, no, they're not cheap. Um... And I need some of that steel. Make one of you. In fact, I need 50. Um, I guess we might we might need to go do more raw resources at some point. On uh, like go bring back stuff like steel and iron. I don't know if I brought what will be enough. 
with me. We might need to go back for some of that. But we have enough of everything except for the concrete. Alright. Oh joy. And the concrete's lacking stone. So... Time to go find a bunch of rocks. Put those in a decon planner. Trees, rocks only. And then go have a party deconstructing. Oh, note to self. Bring concrete to Vulcanus next time. Wait, do I... turn off so when did I do that I don't remember turning off personal roboport I must have done it on accident we didn't die that would be something that no that just disables personal logistics even that's a different thing so I actually don't know what would have caused that This should, this should get us some stone here. Alright, charge up, my dudes. Okay, and now we can smelt that stone. Oh yeah. Do you have any news for me? Really. It is possible to remove waste items by moving them into lava. We gotta remember that. Um Yeah, okay. Nothing fancy. So yeah, now we just put all the stone into there. You go fast. Double, double time on the electric furnace. One thing that's such a huge deal is how quality is going to affect furnace stacks, which I guess you're going to use foundry stacks now in the first place, but even just for furnaces, it's like, oh, furnaces were always limited by being a two module thing, but now with both legendary modules and legendary furnaces, beaconing, We'll need a lot fewer of these things. The accumulator charges have never even dropped that low, even at only having 15 of them. That's crazy. That's crazy. Alright, you're the one that needs iron. Speed this guy up a bit. And we need 50. No, we only needed 20. Okay, we're good. Yay! Oh my god, crafting speed of 4? Oh, ho, ho, ho. I guess it needs to be, because furnaces are already a crafting speed of 2. So, now that I think about it, that's not that crazy. But, here we are... Our first foundry, which we will need to use to make more foundries. Um, however, we're going to need some steel. So, I guess we should make some steel. Hmm. We're definitely going to have to automate all this stuff. But I still have a little bit more steel, but we need 50. I can always just make a little furnace blob to hand feed. Because we did find a bunch of iron ore. We can 
just melt all that down pretty quick. And then... I have enough circuits for two more. Um, I have enough tungsten carbide for multiples. Alright, I can even put in more prod. No, no, I can't. That's not how that works. Right, 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 right. Okay, now we're strapping our power system a little bit. Uh, did I bring more anything? I have more accumulators, but not any more solar, so... We'll just have to chill. A minute on that. <laughs> You're struggling with your lack of oil. Wait, that that one spot wasn't good enough for you. Have you not found more by now? Have you not found more by now? Oh, that sucks. Hey, foundry number two. Okay, so foundry number two, I would like to actually put over by the... Well, we can just bring the oil with pipes. Um, okay, so what are, what are we doing here exactly? We can make lava and calcite into stone or copper. Weirdly making copper makes more stone than making iron. And then from there, we, we could also instead melt down to molten. This would be if you took foundries home to Naubis. And then you can do molten to plates and molten iron directly to steel plates, which is so weird because you're skipping over iron plates entirely. Same with gears and sticks. And then there's even low density structure casting. Oh my gosh. Which, is the ratio the same? I wonder if the ratio is the same. Eight iron to 25 copper? No, the ratio is not the same. That's 10 iron to 20 copper. And instead, it's 825. 15 second crafting time compared to 15 second crafting time. So it's the same crafting time. Um, same amount of plastic. Slightly more copper, slightly less iron. Obviously way better for all the reasons. But... Cool, 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 cool. So let's do this. And then let's make steel by doing this. Oh my goodness. It's happening. So then we just need calcite um, down there. And the reason I'm spacing this out pretty far is just to give me lots of room to work with stuff. I, I could obviously build this more compact pretty easily. But there we go. And we're going to get lots of stone out, which we're going to have to dump back into the lava. But obviously first we'll prioritize it to go into like a storage chest for now. Um... But then find the nearest lava pit. And yeet it goes into the lava. Okay. Another robo port down here. Sweet! Yeah, I tell you, that sucks that you can't find oil. That's uh, kind of a necessary resource. <laughs> uh, so I hope you find more in your world. 
Joshua, you were saying a legendary beacon with two legendary speed modules is 625% speed. Yeah, that's nuts. Also, can we just appreciate how much steel we're getting from basically zero work right now? <laughs> this is crazy. How much are we actually getting? So just one of these with no modules, no beacons, no quality, and I'm getting 2.12 steel per second. Not to mention this foundry can support running more than two of the steel foundries. Wow. This is nuts. Okay, well there's more steel to uh I need to remove that just for a moment to put this back so then I can make more foundries. We heard you like foundries, yo dog. Um, to make more foundries so I can foundry while I foundry. Okay, so we need steel and we need iron. So let's maybe rotate this. I want to rotate this like so. And then I'll sight in. And then the stone, I maybe want to have be on a separate belt around the back here. And that can output priority right. Go get trashed. Fill up a couple, couple barrels here. Barrels of stone. Oops. Okay, does that do it? I think that does it. Yeah. Gosh, this productivity is nuts. So I might as well just put like some basic speed modules in it because we're, we're not really using any resources here, right? 0.44 calcite per second is a, a joke. Calcite doesn't even have added mining time. So that's just basically nothing. It's half of a drill's worth. Um, can you quality the asteroid collectors? Yes. The little the little tentacle, wacky wavy, inflatable robo arm asteroid grabbers. Um, they get more arms with higher quality, which is kind of cool. And they also um, go faster. But yeah, we're going to need some more... Um, power. Can I make... Yeah, we can just make a steam turbine. There's a free 5 megawatts. Just hook that up to this. <laughs> like we were talking about. That's funny. really crazy how much these make. One of these chemical plants running constantly can handle uh, 30 steam turbines. Wow. Oh, can you put modules in them? I don't think so. No, you can filter the asteroid chunks that it grabs, though. So that's cool. But that's it. Okay, so why... Oh, I didn't rotate it properly. That's why. That's why. Perfect. Look at how much steel this thing's making. It's nuts. It's just nuts. Oh, I love it. Alright, did I put logistics bots in the network? I did not. That means they're in my inventory. There we go. 
let them do their job. Um, now this is problematic. How do we get iron ore? another way to get concrete? Ah, there it is. Concrete from molten iron. Okay, I wasn't sure. I was like, uh-oh. This doesn't make much sense. So we'll need a foundry. Okay, so then we're gonna need to make stone brick. Can stone brick be made in foundries? No. So it's not a complete replacement for furnaces. Not quite, anyway. So then, prioritized stone going to be made into stone brick. I don't know how much we're gonna need. We'll just make a random amount. And then the foundry to make stuff out of molten iron. We need cliff explosives. This guy can make concrete. Do we also make refined concrete in here or just regular? Just the regular. Interesting. It's interesting you don't also make refined concrete. And then water, we're going to have to go on a little magical journey to get. All right. Bring the stone bricks over. Blue belts help with ignoring cliffs. Because <laughs> you can just go right over them. All right, so there's concrete, and then refined concrete basically just needs metal stuff smelted near it. Um, just need to automate enough to make all the foundries I want. Um, so let's speed module. Oh, we need water for this too. I keep forgetting that. I don't know why. Okay, so the steel we can request, and then these two we won't. And we'll craft them both in here. And then this guy will just request iron. Why do I have two of these? I don't know. Iron stick. Now, iron stick can also be made with molten, I believe, but I don't think this is going to be that important of a spot to care about that. Okay, so there's a few refined concrete per second. With now maintained ingredients, baby! Oh yeah, this is, this is doing it. I am loving it. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Okay, so I can see, I can see why people come to Vulcanus first. I'll just say that. <laughs> I will say that I can see why people come to Vulcanus first. Let's get a screenshot here. Because there's just so much metal here for free. And it really does feel free. I mean, the lava is quite literally free. It's not even something you mine. The calcite, you only need small, very small amounts. And the coal 
is also only needed in small amounts for the tungsten carbide, but not for like steel and iron and copper. Those are all just literally free. Except for the tiny bit of calcite. And that makes stone free. So it's just like everything is free. It's great. It's super great. So the big mining drill now is something we can start making. But the hard part is like, now we have to actually make circuits, like, again, the hard way, you know, like we actually have to make a base here. So we'll be doing that in future episodes. But for now, we'll have to call this the end of the episode for you future YouTubians. So as always, thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think down in the comments about Vulcanus, the, I almost said the frosty planet. It is the opposite of that. It's the, the very not so frosty planet, the lava planet. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you guys think, and I'll see you all in the next episode.